Hello everyone. Today we'll study chapter one, real numbers. In this fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. We'll study this. Okay. What is fundamental theorem of arithmetic? So it is a very important theorem to find out LCM and HCF. So this fundamental theorem of arithmetic it is also called as the unique factorization theorem or unique prime factorization theorem okay okay so this is also called as unique factorization theorem or unique prime factorization theorem why it is called so let us take its a statement what is the statement of a fundamental theorem of arithmetic this is the statement this statement is very important sometimes they will ask in the ex exam that state fundamental theorem of arithmetic so what is the statement every composite number every composite number what do you mean by composite number we are discussed in uh, earlier uh, uh, slides that is videos composite number is one which has more than two factors for example four it is the very simple example of composite numbers that is what are the factors of four it is divisible by one it is divisible by two and it is divisible by four that number itself so these are factors of four how many factors are there for four there are three factors so such number is called as composite number four is the smallest composite number okay so now let us take the definition what is the definition of fundamental theorem of arithmetic so every composite number can be expressed as can be expressed as a product of primes a product of primes first let us complete this statement every composite number i'll take one composite number 20 okay can be expressed as product of primes so i'll take factors of 20 what are factors of 20 2 into 2 Into five, okay. Two two is a four. Four five five is a twenty. These are prime factors. Prime numbers means the number which is divisible by one, and that number itself are called as prime numbers. So these three are prime numbers. First, the sentence is every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes. Okay. So this composite number is expressed as product of primes. So every composite number can be expressed like this. Then, and this factorization is unique. So whatever factors are there for this twenty, they are unique. Okay. So here you can write twenty is equal to five into two. Into two also we can write, okay? Then it is unique. It is unique. Apart from the order in which the prime factors occur, what is order? Here order means I have written here two into two into five. Here five into two into two. But numbers are same in both. Numbers are same. But only difference is the order of the numbers. Here, five is the last factor, and here I have taken it first. But numbers in both the term, both the factors are same. So the fundamental theorem of arithmetic states every composite number can be expressed as prime prime factorization or can be expressed as product of the prime numbers. But they are unique, and 
order may be different order may be different this is a fundamental theorem of arithmetic then here one example is given that we have taken now that is by taking 20 okay so this is fundamental theorem of arithmetic and it's a statement now next what is lcm and hcf you know this lcm is least common multiple HCF is highest common multi, multi factor. Okay. So here LCM product of greatest product of greatest power of each prime factor and HCF smallest power of each common prime factor. LCM means we take, if you are considering LCM, LCM of two numbers, then we factorize that number and in those factorization, we take greatest power of each prime factor and here we take the smallest power which is common in both the factors. We will solve the examples, then we will easily get to know what is LCM and HCF? Next, there is a one important relation between LCM, HCF and the two numbers. What is that? It, this is very much applied in finding LCM and HCF. What is that? HCF of A and B. That is A, B are two prime number, two composite numbers. HCF of A, B into LCM of AB is equal to product of two composite numbers. I repeat, A and B are two given composite numbers. If you find out HCF and LCM of those numbers, then you will have this relation. What is that relation? HCF into LCM is equal to A into B. On this one, with this, three unknowns means if you know A and B and LCM, you can find out HCF, okay? If you know A and B and HCF, you can find out LCM. This is the relation very much applied in finding HCF and LCM. Now, let us take some examples on this. First example, find find LCM and HCF of 6 and 20. 6 and 20. So how to find out its LCM and HCF? Solution. Okay. What we have to do? Always first find out factors of the given numbers. Factors of 6. What are factors of 6? 2 into 3. Then find out factors of 20. Factors of 20. What are factors of 20? Now only we have find out 2 into 2 into 5. Then LCM. What is LCM? It is the highest power of the terms. Here 2 into 3 and this one I will write. 2 square means 2 raised to 2 into 5. LCM. Here you have to take highest power of the terms. You have to consider. Here 2 raised to 1 is there. Here 2 raised to 2. Which one is highest? 2 raised to 2 is highest. So write 2 raised to 2 into 3 raised to 1. Here 3 is not there means 3 raised to 0 we can write. 3 raised to 0 is 1. You have to assume like that. So 3 raised to 1 is greater. You write 3 raised to 1. Next, 5 is there. Here 5 is not there. 5 raised to 1. Here we can assume again 5 raised to 0. Which one is greater? 5 raised to 1 is greater. Into 5 raised to 1. This product gives LCM of 6 and 20. So LCM of, we write like this, 620 is equal to 2 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1. 
two twos are four. Here I'll write four three into five. It is four threes are twelve. Twelve into five it is sixty. So LCM is sixty. Next, what is HCF? HCF highest common factor or else HCF of six and twenty is the numbers whose power is the smallest that we consider. Here I'll erase this. Okay. Huh. Huh. Just observe. Lowest power or common factors we take. Here two is there. Here two square is there. Common is only two. That you have to write here. Here three. Here three is not there. So you cannot take. Here five is there. Here but five is not there. Only common, which are common in both. You have to consider those. So here only two is the HCF. Is it clear? Then let us check the relation. That is LCM into HCF is equal to A into B. That is LCM into HCF is equal to A into B. This is the relation we know. LCM is 60. HCF is 2. Just we are checking this relation. Actually here problem is completed. A is 6. B is 20. These are given numbers. 120 is equal to 120. Okay. So your answers are correct. In this way you can check your answers. Next. Let us take next example. Find the HCF of 96 and 404 by prime factorization method. Hence, find their LCM solution. Right? We have to, have to find out HCF of these two numbers. So, first factors. Factors of Factors of 96 is equal to 2 into 4 za, 8 za. Start with the smallest number. 2 into, again take its factors. 2 into 2 2 za, 2 4 za. Simple division I am taking. 2 into 2 into, again I will take 2 here. 2 12s are 24. This one 2 into 2 into 2 as it is. Again this one. I can write it as 2 into 6. One more step we will take. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into again factors of this 2 into 3. So factors of 96 2 raised to 5 into 3. Right? Now let us here we'll take factors of 404. Factors of 404 is equal to first I'll take 2. 2 into 2 to the 0 2 to the again 2 into this is divisible by 2. 2 you take 101. So 2 raised to 2 into 101. Right? Now we found factors. Then we will find out HCF. HCF. HCF of 96 404 is equal to highest common factor which is common in both the factors. That is, just to see here, 2 raised to 5 is there. Is 2 raised to 5 here? No. But 2 square is there. 2 square is common in both. You have to consider smallest power. 2 square. Here 3 is there. Here 3 is not there. 101, here it is not there. So, its HCF is 2 square. That is, HCF is 4. Now, LCM we can find out directly. But here we'll use that relation. That is HCF into 
LCM is equal to what is the relation? A into B. Here A means A means ninety six and B is four hundred four. I'll take HCF is four into LCM is equal to A is ninety six, B is four hundred four. Then LCM is equal to I'll transfer this four here. It is ninety six into four hundred four divided by four. Again, it is ninety six into four ones are four hundred one hundred and one. So answer is ninety six ones are ninety six ninety six ones are ninety six nine six nine six. We can check this by multiplying ninety six and four hundred four. That answer should be LCM into HCF. Okay. In this way, we can solve the examples. Let us consider one more example. Find HCF and LCM of six seventy two and one twenty. Here, difference is three numbers are given. Let us find out by using the same method. And that relation, that is HCF into LCM is equal to A into B, is applied to when there are only two numbers. It is not applied for three numbers. Remember that. So, factors of factors of six is equal to two into three. Factors of Seventy-two is equal to. You can pause the video and solve on your own. Then compare your answers. Two into two, three is six. Two six is twelve. Again, take factors. Two into what are the factors of this? Two ones are two eights are is equal to two into two into what are the factors of this? Two into nine. While taking factors, you have to be very careful. Into nine can be written as three into three. So these are all prime factors. Then it is two q into three square, right? Similarly, we'll find out factors of factors of one twenty is equal to two into Two six are twelve zero. Again, take factors. What are factors of this? Two into thirty is equal to two into two. Factors of fifteen. Two into factors of thirty. Fifteen. Again, two into two into two. Factors of fifteen are three into five. So all are prime now. Stop here, and we'll write in powers. It is two q into three into five. Now we'll write down L HCF and LCM. HCF of six seventy two one twenty. HCF means highest common factor. Here two is there. Here also two is there. Here also two is there. Okay. So two is common into. You cannot take two cube here because here two cube is not there. You cannot take that. Which one is common in all three? That you have to consider. Here three is there. Here also we have three, and here also we have three. So two into three is equal to six. Next LCM is equal to six LCM of six seventy two one twenty. Here highest powers we consider. Here two raised to one, two raised to three, two raised to three. So two raised to three is highest. Two raised to three into. Here three raised to one, three raised to two, three raised to one. So three raised to two. Next five is there. Take this five. Multiply. Two cube is eight into nine into five. How much it is? Nine five is a nine eight is a seventy two seventy two into five ten three sixty is equal to three sixty. So HCF is six, 
LCM is 360. In this way, we have to solve the problems. So this is about fundamental theorem of arith arithmetic and problems based on that. Thank you.